move it transfer came out i mean that dropped um basically what happened was we were we'd see we'd observed uh exploitation of a zero day in move it um a patch came out but nobody had really replicated anything yet um we observed i think we only observed uh we had a very small number of move it users in our purview i think we had what six or seven maybe max um and of those only i think one uh was actually compromised inside of our view um but across the world there was exploitations there was uh and clop had been the one in the end to actually take credit there um so that exploitation what we had observed in the wild was that uh there was a web shell dropped on the machines so we didn't know a lot about what the actual exploit was but we could see that hey after the exploit there was a web shell there that human 2.aspx um and so we kind of had that thread to go on uh but that was about all we knew at the very beginning right john that was that was uh and if i may i think i can drag over this other screen share um we tried to do our best to get up early and often uh for some of the messaging for some of the awareness so we had shared our reddit post if you're chasing and tracking us on reddit.com r slash msp uh we also ended up cross posting it over to sysadmin just to get a little bit more info out and about but those were early days uh it's wild to look through all of the updates that this post has because hey we're learning something new hey we uncovered something else hey we've got some other traction here so updates 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 as we kept learning a little bit more but it's funny the original draft of this had a couple question marks like we were just thinking uh we're not sure what these dll's are in the attack we aren't positive all of the effects of any portions that are affected uh, but we did get to at least say look there seems to be significant impact uh no it's a small number of online and publicly accessible servers but we are seeing some big targets here and folks that at least seem to be getting inklings of data exfiltration and stolen stuff uh and i had shared a poll here and if it's all right i'd love to go ahead and uh end that poll and share those results because i thought i'd ask you hey we we had barely double digits of uh partners that were using the software again one that was actually compromised uh which seems like a small number but we're seeing a lot of other organizations come out of the woodwork and say, hey, we were affected uh, and there are there are some damages that we kind of need to recover from. This is a snippet of an article that was expressing a lot of the Move It customers, even from their web page, like the online progress site that lists their customers. There's some state governments in there. The company's LinkedIn page lists the FBI, JP Morgan, Chase Bank, Geico, et cetera. And I appreciate everyone memeing and trolling us over in the chat there's like hey there's no option for i was aware but i wasn't needing to fight the fire here uh and i'm gonna play pretend that that was my smart marketer mind that said hey let's drive engagement by having something intentionally wrong that everyone can <laughs> comment on but that wasn't that wasn't it <laughs> <laughs> caleb am i missing any of the big ones in this list british airways bbc Aer Lingus? were you tracking any others I don't think so. No, I, th I think those were the big ones. Interestingly, uh, not a lot in the U.S. I know that was an observation that yeah. we had seen early. It was hard to find anyway. I think I saw University of Rochester. And I'm not sure if that's Rochester, New York or other places. Um, but it seems like there was a, an inkling surrounding schools or Department of Education spots that had some presence of move it transfer, etc. 